Evernote has had a pretty crazy 2024. They've added over 100 updates and it's a pretty decent offering of what they're putting together in terms of catching up with what they previously didn't have and adding things which make it a lot more of an attractive offer. They've also changed their pricing a lot over the year, testing a lot of different things as they learn, understand and approach their new audience in 2024. But 2025 holds the most important secret for them, the opportunity to expand and grow into the note-taking space. And I wanted to share some of my opinions on where I believe Evernote is heading. So welcome, if you're new here, my name's Francesco. Uh, do subscribe if you're interested in hearing more about productivity software and opinions. I'd love to share more. So uh, one of the interesting things about Evernote is they published uh, about over 100 plus updates they introduced over the year. And it's no, uh, but no new news to you that Evernote have been refining what they've been doing since Bending Spoons has taken over as the primary owners of the company. And that's really good news to see an application that is developing and improving. And if you look at all the features, they are a mix between low to medium level features that have improved the core experience for Evernote users. But the primarily, or, or most of them, have actually been making Evernote an experience that it was previously, if that makes sense. So if you take a snapshot of maybe 2018, 2019 Evernote, this is where Evernote in 2024 is now, if that makes sense because Evernote is a lot behind a lot of behind the major competitors in the space in terms of innovation and new features they are currently still about 3 to 4 years behind in terms of their offering in my opinion so obviously that begs to the question will 2025 be a better year for Evernote? Now, they've stabilized a lot of stuff. Their experience is dramatically faster. Their core features are better. But what does that hold for the year ahead? Well, I think Evernote will have a much better year. Artificial intelligence is going to be a key factor. And Bending Spoons, as a company, are already really well known in the artificial intelligence space. So I think if Evernote's going to have success, they're going to have to leapfrog a lot of people or at least catch up with AI introductions in 2025. This is a good opportunity for them to do that very thing. And I think that in 2025, they will. By the end of the year, they have all the resources, they have the structure that they need to in terms of what they've done over the year, which no doubtably have been impressive. And I think that could be an opportunity for them to actually be a player in the note-taking space and be something that they previously weren't before. So let's see what Evernote brings in 2025. Do you agree with me or do you think they are stuck in the mud? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, hopefully you'll be back for another update about apps like this in the future. Cheerio for now.